Welcome back to the Google Ads Agency Academy. This is video number seven in this series, so part seven. And in this one, we're going over the ads vortex strategy, just a very beginner outlook of how I view all my targeting and all my campaigns for all my clients and what I teach my actual paid community clients as well. And every single campaign set that you'll ever, ever create or optimize in the ad platform will come from one of these five, okay? So we're gonna do a, a 2D model here. It's a little bit better explained in a 3D kind of just to grasp how it's very, like it's, it's variable and it's not as simple as a straight funnel down, right? Um, it can be, but it also can, people can skip uh, parts of that funnel. They can go from the very top to the very bottom to then post bottom. So it's almost like an inverted funnel as well. Um, so I'll try to explain it in a very easy 2D manner. Um, this is exactly what we'll be using for actual application and core account builds uh, coming up later in the course. So overall, how do I think about this, right? So you have two different forms of traffic. You have new customer, and then you have existing customers, aka people who have bought something from you or a lead, however you want to define that and what, you know, for your company, that's how you can think of it. So if we have new customers right here, what is the next step? So the next step would be the two main campaign targeting types that you're going to use is either demand creation. You're literally creating demand out of thin air. Think of Facebook ads. This is usually how they operate because you're, you're trying to get them to stop in the ad when they're being entertained, right? This is more of your YouTube stuff, more of your demand gen stuff, um, more display components and audience targeting. Not so much shopping and search. That's more built off the second version of targeting, and that is demand capture. This is the usual route of Google Ads uh, targeting. This is where most people learn. Most people kind of stop pretty much here. They want to say, oh, I want to go in front of someone searching for this product. I will showcase that, right? And basically, how to think about this for new customers, um, the way I view this is, is pretty much cold, right? So I would say cold. And the reason being for this, um, that's, that's a pretty bad cold. Let's do cold. Cold traffic. Um, now, the reason being for this, because demand capture can also be warm, and that could be someone searching for a Nike basketball shoe. That is, a, that is a person looking for exactly a product or service that they want from a specific company, right? So that would actually fall under protection and collection or branded search query. Uh, but that's going to be a different target type. So main thing here, this is where you're about, you know, probably 60 to 80% of budget will usually live in these upper categories because you want to be more new customer focused. Now, obviously, that can be variable and it can be very different depending on who you're targeting for, what competitors you have, what's the goal of the Google ads compared to Facebook, something like that for your clients. Uh, however, usually that's where it runs. Now, next thing, right, in a more of a 3D dimension here, right, this could be encompassing around here. It doesn't mean they go straight down in a funnel, but the next thing here is actually nurture. But the key component here, you're not doing generalized remarketing you might have to for like say a local service business or someone who doesn't have a lot of traffic, but your goal here is to exclusively focus on engaged only, engaged traffic only. The reason being here, right? If you have say, let's say I have 10,000 videos come through your page, your, through your ads in the last month, the last 30 days, I'd only wanna showcase my ads and my remarketing ads to the most engaged and most qualified traffic possible, right? No matter how good your ad copy is, no matter how good your targeting is, you will have slips, to the, the slips in the cracks of people that are not as qualified, maybe upper, more upper in the funnel in terms of the buying process, more in the education side, more of the competitor analysis side, right? And you don't want to waste too much ad money on them. Again, you can have generalized marketing campaigns, and that's a good strategy for most people as well. However, the really where meats and potatoes of this is getting into, you know, let's say uh, started checkouts, 50% VSL viewers, product page visitors. You just want some specific action that someone has done to indicate some level of engagement, right? Now, this doesn't mean they're super qualified, but it does give you a better hedge against spending more money on them through nurturing, unlike going through, let's say, just all pages remarketing, right? Again, you want to focus one more thing there. Now, from here, you have warm targeting. So this is cold targeting up top, right? This is cold. Now this is warm. Now, how do you do this? So there's two more targeting types here. One is 
protection and collection. And this is your brand traffic. So the people searching directly for your branded name in a search query. Um, and this is again where I want to separate off both. I want to separate this compared to this. I don't want uh, my branded in demand capture. I want to have an accurate representation of new customers, a cold traffic uh, metrics compared to a branded search query and kind of identifying, identifying off that, right? And there are instances where you don't need a lot of protection and collection campaigns. There are instances where you need a lot. Um, it's a, a lot of times dependent on who you're working with, what's the sales cycle, do you need to update their targeting and the messaging to a new time, right? Let's say if you block Friday, Saturday, Monday, the deal, maybe you want to send all brand traffic to that page and not have the, not have your, all your organic traffic go to your homepage, right? And have a big drop off, not seeing that sale or not seeing the deals they're promoting right now. So there's more stuff that we can get to for that in the, uh, later in the course, but just kind of want to touch on it here. And then lastly, something that not a lot of people use, not a lot of brands use, which is so bad, which is a uh, profit expansion think here more money existing customers and here main thing here is you want to kind of really mirror your sms and email marketing just like how you would google ads and with google ads you can actually upload your customer data list so all-time customers second plus orders uh monthly subscribers literally whatever you want to name it as just like you would in clavio or any other email management system upload it to Google Ads or use Zapier and, or integrate it directly like Klaviyo does. And you want to mirror any offer you're using with SMS email team, mirror that on the display video side and showcase those offers. So they, main, they maintain continuity from the email to whoever they're browsing, whatever they're watching, right? Really showcase that. Again, some good ideas here is, you know, you're gonna have a sale coming up. So you want to promote that ahead of time. You want to release a new product. If I bought, let's say your furniture company and some of your people just bought um, a bedroom uh, table, why don't you why not show them um, the the side tables on the bedroom right? bedroom side tables whatever they're called nightstands um, that'd be an easy upsell cross opportunity maybe you want to focus on your churners maybe you have a monthly you have a SaaS and you want to focus on the last forty five days last six days churners try to get them back out with a new offer right so you can be really creative here and it's again more so for bigger brands who have a couple you know at least probably ten twenty thousand customer list preferably but you can be more um, uh, variable there as well if you have a smaller list, but that again, we'll talk more about specific strategies later, but that is the ad vortex strategy, five different ways that all campaigns will use. And we'll get more to that in the actual application uh, and that part coming up.